Today is Dia de los Muertos, and we are live this morning at the Bakersfield Museum of Art. And we are talking about how you can make an altar to honor your loved ones that have passed. Keep it here. Also, speaking of the folks here, don't think I could say Dia de los Muertos. That's why they said Day of the Dead. Oh, no, 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 no. I know your Spanish speaking abilities are very good. Uh, viewers I wouldn't say who are that. your friends on Facebook know that as well. I wouldn't say that. No, very sometimes good. you sing in Spanish, John. Yeah, just so memorize the lyrics, you know. Yeah, but it actually sounds legit, so kudos to you, my friend. <laughs> hey, listen, Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos, is all about a celebration of loved ones that have passed. And one of the ways that you do that is with an altar. And so the Bakersfield Museum of Art is going to have some altars set up here tonight to showcase this. And Eva, you're going to show us exactly what it takes yes. to make an altar, because there are some key things that every altar has to have. What are those? Yes. One of the most important things is a picture of the deceased one. And okay. I have a picture of my niece, Annie Nora and we have water we provide water that is representative of life because we need water for life for our everything and a candle to light the way and sugar skulls that are very traditional that go through even back to pre-hispanic times and what does the sugar skull represent the sugar skull um, in the pre-hispanic times uh, the Indians had uh, the real skulls but when the Spaniards came they kind of changed it a little bit and adapted it to be sugar skull to continue that tradition because this tradition is not really uh, it was uh, integrated to catholicism okay and that's where it, where it is right now okay so instead of doing the real skulls we're doing the sugar the skulls sugar sc what else does this take okay it also takes um copal which is an incense burner okay we burn incense to help the those souls come we have the sempasuchi the flower the traditional flower which is our marigold that's used uh, for that we also have the traditional pan de muerto it's a mexican pastry shaped in uh, into crossbones or a body which we will have here tonight too. Okay. Um, at the museum. And you also keep some uh, things of them, like this, you have a hat, this is this for, is represents your grandmother. Right. Yes, and things that represent them, his wallet, uh, my mom's little coin purse, okay. and we also provide the favorite food of the deceased. Okay. okay, and these will all be showcased tonight at the Bakersfield Museum of Archives, and you can find out some more about what takes what it takes to make an altar for your loved one, maybe if you want to do this next year. Again, this happening tonight at 5 o'clock at the Bakersfield Museum of Art. They're also going to have fabulous food, I'm told as well. Admission, just a dollar. Coming up, we are going to speak with Eva Moore on what making this altar meant to her. Guys? All right, Camby, thank you very much. Yeah, that's right. You can actually make your own sugar schools. And back in the day, they used to use real schools. Uh, of course, we don't do that here. We use the sugar schools now. And you can actually make these yourself, and it uses a lot of simple ingredients that probably most people have at home. Yes. You use white sugar, you use meringue, meringue powder, and just water. And okay, how much, what are the, the amounts that we have here? How okay. much sugar and how much meringue? Two cups of white sugar. Okay. One teaspoon of meringue and one teaspoon of water. Okay. And just and sprinkle it. Would you believe that's enough? And mix it. And it should be the consistency of snow. Okay, okay, in most, order. I don't know. Most California people, we don't experience a lot of <laughs> snow. <laughs> well, it kind of kind of looks like snow. So you don't want it super moist, right? Not super moist. And where can you get these little molds that we're using? These are the molds you can use to actually make the sugar skull. Where can people get those? Yes, um, they're, they're online on MexicanSugarSkulls.com or tonight um, there will be a booth that will have the sugar skull molds from Mexican Sugar Skulls. Okay, and that's all going to be happening today here at the Bakersfield Museum of Art. That's tonight at 5 o'clock. They're also going to have some awesome food, I'm told. In fact, Eva even says if you have plans tonight, what do you need to do? You need to cancel them and get over here. Okay, you heard it from Eva <laughs> here at the Bakersfield Museum of Art, five to eight. Now, once you actually get the sugar school, here's one that's already yes. already made. It takes a day overnight. It needs to, to be dry. able to dry, and so you just kind of put this in the mold and just and pat it down. Pat it down. Pat it down. And then after a day, it'll actually look like this, and then you can decorate them. And this is all a festival, you guys. This is. 
in honor of our loved ones, in remembrance of our loved ones, yes. but uh, and our loved ones that have passed, but also it's a celebration. It's not supposed to be something that is very sad. It's supposed to be a celebration. There Look go. how good that looks. And then that just dries overnight and you can decorate it and then put it in your altar. Yep, yes. I love it. We'll, we'll uh, decorate it in an, an upcoming segment, Eva, because we're running out of time. But again, this is happening today at the Bakersfield Museum of Art, 5 o'clock tonight. Check that out, guys. Campy, this is right up your alley. You are so crafty, and I know that you're going to be uh, having a lot of fun with the next coming segment. Yes, it's a lot of fun. All right. Thank you, Campy. We'll check in with you in a little bit. I'm out there this, mor this morning with a preview of what you can see. Ooh, looks. People think it's scary, but it's not scary, Campy. It's a, it's a celebration, right? It is supposed to be a celebration. That's right. Here I am. Did you recognize me? Did you know it was me, John? I could tell it was you by those pearly white oh. teeth. Oh, well, that's good. Hey, hey, I'll take that. You know, Dia de los Muertos happening here at the Bakersfield Museum of Art. They are celebrating this tonight at 5 o'clock, but it's not just for adults. You know, before we get into what the kids can do here at the Bakersfield Museum of Art, a lot of time it is the adults who put together these altars to remember their loved ones that have passed and to honor them. What was that like for you to put these altars together, remembering both your niece and your parents? Well, um... It helped me as I went through. It was hard at first, but it helped me um, deal with it and remember them in a positive way and remembering how they were in life and what they meant to me and the difference they, meant they made in my life. Right, because obviously somebody passing, it is a time of grief and a time of sadness, but this is a way to honor them and, and actually remember them on, a, on another day besides their birthday and the day that they passed. Now, you guys are actually doing some things for kids. Show us the yes. stuff that you have out here that the kids will be able to do tonight at the Bakersfield Museum okay, of Art. They'll be able to do some masks right here, um, decorate them however they, they might like. We have all the supplies ready for them. They'll be able to make a, a decorate a sugar skull as we made some right here. The, here are the icings to, to decorate. And this is basically, it's um, regular icing uh, for cakes and you just, you know, go around. And it's supposed to be very colorful because very it is a celebration. You can see the colors that we have. Again, this happening at the Bakersfield Museum of Art tonight at 5 o'clock. And actually, we've had a few people show up this morning already getting their altars set up. So you'll get to see a lot of people in the community, their altars for their loved ones that have passed. So it should be a lot of fun. Eva says if you have plans for tonight, Cancel scratch those. Open. Yeah, scratch, scratch them. them. Get over here. So You Think You Can Dance was last night. This is where you need to be tonight. It also lets you know about a different culture as well. John? All right, Camby, thank you very much. You can experience at the museum tonight, Camby. Yeah, that's right. People will be setting up their altars here today, honoring their loved ones that have passed. This is an example of one of the altars. Eva, what exactly do these altars entail? What are the necessary things that need to be there? Okay, we need to have the picture of the person that has that has died, a candle, a glass of water, uh, the Sempasuchi, which is the, our merry gold that goes on there, uh, Day of the Dead bread, their favorite food, uh, sugar skulls. And also some personal belongings. Now, yes. we and do the light. Picado. Don't forget the papel picado is oh, very yes. important too. And we also do, we do the light because that's to guide them and then the water because that's necessary for life. For life. And what about the candles? What's the purpose of those? The candles, um, like this one represents um, the, a saint that we all look forward to and also the lighting. Okay, perfect. And so this is gonna be happening today at the Bakersfield Museum of Art. We showed you all this stuff that the kids will be able to get to do. So it's not just for adults, it's also for the kids. Jason, what else can they come out and get to experience here tonight at five? Well, like Eva just said, you know, we're trying to remember the loved ones that have passed, but this right here, this is a small sampling of tonight. It's the living art. What we're doing tonight is we have live music. We have uh, traditional dancing. We have traditional uh, mariachi bands. We have arts and crafts. We have the altars, over 30 and altars. From don't forget the comida, the food. You guys are going to have food. awesome food. What, what food are you guys going to have out uh, here tonight? Well, here we go with my no accent. <laughs> we're going to have tortas and tacos, and we're going to have um, some La Rosa bars. We have a little bit of everything for somebody. Okay. So this is going to be, if you, you can't make it, you know, between 
you, if you can make it between five and eight, come have dinner, have fun, relax, enjoy the altars. And only a buck to get in, right? One dollar? One dollar. Yeah, that That's is awesome. Idea. That is awesome. And you know, you can get to see other people's altars and see exactly what this day is all about. You know, a lot of people on Facebook saying that every day they remember their loved ones that have passed. Of course, everybody feels that. But this just gives you an additional way to remember them that is visible, that you can touch and feel and kind of connect you with that person.